Okay, it's a short video. Um, I have a TJM snorkel. Very good. Keeps the water out. Or does it? Well, after a little four-wheel drive, look what I found. So what the problem is, it's nothing to do with the snorkel. It's to do with this here. They've used the factory connector. This is just sponge rubber. I've taken this off. So I'll take this out momentarily. You can see that that's how it goes into here. Use the hole. So this waterproof seal is nothing but a sponge. In here. And uh, wait, there's more. There's the factory room. It's got a hole in here. And then of course you've actually got two drain holes in the airbox itself. That one I've actually taken out. And I put a, uh, that is actually a non-return valve out of a fish tank air filter. So that's a, just a little silicon um, thing. If you squeeze it, it uh, opens up and it's we'll let the water out. So I need to silicon that hole up. So um, this, this is the factory piece that just twists, twists out of there. So as you can see, uh, that hole there is not really very good for all that one. Not ideal. In fact, all that seam down there is not very ideal if you're going to have the thing waterproof. So, my solution was to go to Bunnings, buy some elbows. Now, one's a female to female and one's a female to male. Uh, that has got a 90mm piece in the centre. This is, this is a 90mm pipe, by the way. So that, I'm going to somehow silicon this in here permanently and maybe put a bracket. I might add to this video later on. We'll see how we go. Uh, and that end, this hole down here, just so happens that this puppy here, which is a plumbing fitting also from Bunnings, comes with two uh, hose clamps. That will fit nicely in there. So I'm going to push that in. Further than that, uh, and then this will be in there. That out into my bowl, lots of silicon and stuff, and hopefully that will make this a little bit more waterproof when I'm playing in the mud. See how we go. Okay, so just a bit of a test fit here, so you can see that I put my uh, pipe in. It's actually silicon together now, that's in the, uh, with the clamp on here. It actually works out quite nice, this just comes and it's just the very end of the that rubber thing come through. So I really just got to, uh, to silicon up all around this gap in here. So I think it's just a massive bit of silicon. As I say, a bracket from here to here somehow, just may be helpful. Um, I'm not planning to ever take my airbox out again. But uh, yeah, maybe I just won't. It'll be, it'll be solid in there anyway, so we'll see how we go. Okay, so job finished or success, I think. We've got a uh, nice log of sil silicon. Lock all that in. Suck it up that hole that was there. Siliconed in my little... Now the reason I need that is because just, if you think about it, if I'm screaming down a... Uh, down the motorway at 100Ks and it's bucketing with rain, the water going to go down that. Hole, and it's going to end up in here regardless, so just in some way of getting it out potentially. Um, that's all that's all about. Yeah, and there's uh, it's just a little one way silicon valve and that I stole out of an airline from, from the fish tank. But other than that, it's uh, three little fittings from Bunnings and a bit of pipe. And hopefully, hunky dory. <laughs>